What's up, foodie fam? We out here, man. Day 48, 100 local restaurants in 100 days. Day 48, man. We're almost at that halfy. We almost at that half skis. We are out here in the great city of Bristol. We are at the Beehive Cafe. I'm actually parked, so uh, there wasn't that much parking on Franklin Street, I think they're on. So I said, you know, let me find a parking. And I'm parked at this, I don't know how to pronounce the school. Guterres? Guterres? School? I am I am totally chopping and mutilating that name. But it's like this historic, beautiful building. You got the, the bay behind me. I mean, it's a beautiful day. It's so bright. So... They have specials at Beehive. Uh, they had like, you know, they, they're known for their breakfast and stuff, but I wanted I wanted a Sammy. I wanted a Sammy, right? They also have the Beehive biscuits that has like the egg on it with the mmm. So I'm going to definitely have to come back for that jump off. So I got their broccolini melt. Look at that. Oh. You put the word in melt in anything, son? Ship it! All right, so broccolini melt, roasted broccolini, spinach, red pepper, mozzarella, basil aioli. Oh, yeah, with the side. I decided to go with the greens. Got to get your greens, kids. All right, look at that. Thick toast, buttered, down the hatch. It's got some aioli popping out right there. That's where I'm going. And let go. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm. That's a sandwich, y'all. Oh, man. You guys know the rules. Two bites. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. That's my fault. You guys know me, Team Big Bites. I gotta learn how to take smaller bites so things like that don't happen. You guys know how I roll them. Also, I'm a bad YouTuber. I always forget to say, guys, please, in the beginning of the, of the video, if you can like, share, and comment, subscribe, that'd be great. YouTube loves when people give thumbs up and leave comments. So, the comments I get because we love the comments. Margarita and I, we we literally live for them. We can't wait to get new comments. It's like our day, you know, people are like, hey, uh, uh, let's read the news. Let's uh, let's get the paper. Us, Margarita and I, did you see that new comment? You want to comment first? You want me to comment? Who's going to comment? So we get excited. It's part of our day. So you can get a side of, oh my God, what was it? It was this and something else, but I, I need a salad today. I needed a salad today. And I knew it wasn't going to be any kind of salad. A little mixed greens. Got some nice dressing already tossed in there. I appreciate a place that does the work for me. Let's put dressing all over my salad, man. Let's go. Down the hatch. Feeling like Popeye right now. Also. I know. It's real hot. It's a good sandwich. Bristol Fire Department agrees with me. So, this is, a, this is a whole first time video. First time having Beehive. Love it. I've never had Empire Soda. I saw it. You know, every time I, I eat at a place, I go, hey, do you have anything local like Yacht Club Soda or Granny Squibs or anything like that? Um, or, you know, anything local. They're like, we got this Empire. And I go, talk to me about this Empire. And they did. Bristol, Rhode Island, 61 Buttonwood, Bristol, Rhode Island, 02809, Diet Cola, Empire Bottling Works. Since 1930. 
Cheers. With a little burp, get that full experience. Si me gusta. Oh, yeah, that's going to pair perfectly. All right, let me jump in this, guys, real quick because, I mean, it's just... Uh, they did not skimp on the red peppers at all, the roasted red peppers. I want to get this middle bite. I'm usually a workaround, but I need this money bite right in the middle, so... Un momento, por favor! Mmm. Mm. Oh man. Start falling in love with the East Bay guys. Start to fall in love with the East Bay. Mm. You guys comment below. Let me know what you are. You know who else was on my list while I was driving through here? Uh, Eli's Kitchen. I saw Eli's Kitchen in Warren. Uh, driving through here and then also the statesman state state statesman's tavern oh mm -mm -mm. you know when i go to cafes i always ask them like hey what are you known for but i also like to maybe try the you guys know me i'm a specials guy Because I know I can come tomorrow and get, you know, your famous plates. What you got popping off that's only available this week? That's what I want to know. A little broccolini at the bottom there. Down the hatch. You guys know. Eat your greens, kids. Mmm. Mmm. And Quitos. We'll be hitting up Quitos too. So Beehive is also known for, they do um, <clears throat> donuts on Saturdays. And I asked her, I was like, any secret batches or <clears throat> any test batches that you guys are like, hey, tomorrow we're gonna do like a special one. We made a couple extra, throw them off to the side skis. She basically turned me down. She's like, you know what? Nope. Nice try, guy. She didn't say that. She was very sweet. She's like, no, we just do them on Saturdays. I go, okay. That just means I got to come back. <clears throat> All right. But so I said I needed a little sweet today. Guys, I love dessert, but I'm not always in the mood for dessert. I don't know about you guys. But, oh, good burp. Good carbonation. I was like, what do you have in the pastries? She was very, uh, very informative. She was like, well, are you talking about like cookies? Or are you talking about like pastries? And I was like, oh man. I was like, let, let me go with the cookie this time. So they had some gluten-free options too. I think one of them was like peanut butter. I almost got that one because I love peanut butter. But I'm a sucker for oatmeal raisin. I am a... Sucka. And I know this is going to be soft. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? You better believe I'm going to do the quad. You better believe I'm going to do the quad, guys. Look at that. Mm -mm. Oops. Man down. All right. I love me a good cookie. Something about a cookie makes you feel young again. By the way, there's a lot of traffic, man. I thought a lot. I thought a lot of the traffic was to go to um, Cold State Park. No, everyone's parking to eat in Bristol. Also, Warren's. Uh, what is that? Main Street. Looks like Atwell's Ave. Mmm. I sure got almond milk. 
because I like all my desserts with almond milk. Ice cold. It's got to be freezing. I have sensitive teeth, so it doesn't work out, but that's just the way I like it. Mmm. Good cookie. Okay. That sandwich is phenomenal, guys. I never would have... That doesn't do it any justice. I'm not doing this. There we go. That does it a little more justice. Chisel. Broccolini. And the roasted red peppers. On thick toast. Look at that. It's two fingers. What was the side that they offered instead of greens? That you have a choice of two. It was on the tip of my tongue. I asked for it and I totally forgot to double check my order. I, I always like to ask for a paper menu, like a paper takeout menu, so I can like go through it. And I totally forgot to make sure that I had one on my way out. Got some townies, uh, got some townies uh, doing some donuts over here. I don't know if that was like a friendly uh, welcome to Bristol little donut that they did on the road over here, or that was a hey, you ain't from around here. Tread lightly. Okay. Hmm. So good. All right. Post meal Q and A. You guys are stuck with my beautiful face for a little bit, too. A lot of the Roadie Foodie fam is on vacation. You guys are living the dream. Martha's Vineyard, Florida. Uh, the, the Cape. I was like, man, you guys are living the dream. All right, you guys know the rules. What we'll do is we'll just put a handful on here because we always pick the same ones. So, there you go. All right. If you could run away for a day and do anything you want, what would you do? Oh, going to need some air on that one. By the way, a lot of you guys are asking me what this is. This is Rhode Island original. My friend Terry and and, uh, and his peeps, uh, Mimi, and uh, the rest of the gang, they make these really cool... I love anchors. Like, that's one of the reasons I love Rhode Island is because it's so anchor rich. Um, so you guys check them out online. Follow them on Instagram. Really cool stuff. Um, if I could run away for a day, what would I do? Honestly, I think I would probably go somewhere right now. If I had to choose right now, it would be somewhere local. I know that's kind of like Lupe. Stop saying local. The word local. You've said that a million times. But I really would. I, I would either go to Newport and just chill like by the water. A couple friends. A couple drink skis. Or uh, Vermont right now is beautiful. Vermont is my Vermont is my jam. Oh, you know where we went recently too? We went to a bar stool. We got invited to a bar stool's uh, sports event at Lake. Hopefully, I say this right. Winnipesaukee. Nailed it. Um, it was gorgeous up there too. Oh my god, Lake Winnipesaukee. That's gonna have to be on my list. Oh. Would you guys consider this healthy? I mean, I know it's got the cheese and the bread, but it's got all the veggies in it too. I gotta take this middle back. One second. Mm. Man, if I grew up with vegetables tasting like that, I would eat more vegetables. Mm. I'm telling you, we live in a very good time right now, the way that the culinary world is. Mm. Spoiled. Okay. We picked that one the other night during our live. What is your favorite knock knock or cheesy dad joke? Uh, 
Oh, this is so cheesy. But I would do the knock knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo who? Don't cry. It's just me. Great dad joke. Only works on kids. Five or below. If they're six, they're going to look at you like you're not a cool person. Can you stop trying so hard? You lose them around six or seven, guys. Ship it. But under that, you're, you're Jerry Seinfeld. You're the best comedian in the whole world. After that age, you're the lamest person. You can be, you can be super famous. You can be super rich. You can be super everything. To that kid, you're lame. <laughs> I mean, they still love you, but you, parents know what I'm talking about. I have a lot of friends that are that are parents. So, okay, next question, last one. We'll make this a short video. Which chocolate bar is most like you? What chocolate bar is most like me? I'm going to need a minute on that guy. Un momento, guys. Mm. Mm. I know you guys won't believe this, but... I don't eat a lot of chocolate bars. You're like, Luke, stop it. We can literally see you right now. It's true, though. I do love a good Snickers. Maybe because of the whole... I'd be a Snickers. Here's why. At times, I'm a little little nutty. But their new marketing strategy with the... Are you hangry? Or... Well, what's their... Uh, white weight? Whatever those commercials are where like you're basically hangry and then you eat and then you're like... Same with me. I'm... Super positive all the time, but when there's food around, I am uber positive. Like, I feel like I can con conquer the day. Oh, I thought I had some spinach in my teeth. Mm. Beehive Cafe. They had a cute little seating area, too. Mmm. I really got to start taking a moment to like sit back, relax, kind of look at the environment. But guys, most of the time I'm like starving. I order my food. I want to get the heck out of there. Find a parking spot. Do my video for my foodie fam. And ship it home. But I'm looking out here, man, with the, with the, like with all the boats and everything. It's gorgeous out here. I'm going to take a moment. Soak it in. If someone can tell me how to pronounce the school, G U I T E R A S school is a high performing school, Bristol Warren Regional School District. It's it's gorgeous. It's got these col like these Roman columns. Kids are these kids are spoiled. We were talking about this the other day, like in California, we have like these, it's kind of like a spread out campus. Like you have your science building, your math building, but here, like you always see in movies, like in <clears throat> like eighties, nineties movies and even movies today, because a lot of them are filmed on the East coast where it's these one big buildings and everything's inside of it. I'm, I'm assuming it's because of the weather too. Like you can't have kids walking around in the snow all day. Hmm. Guys, I'm finishing this whole meal with you. Bonus question, because it's the weekend. What famous person would you like to meet? You know what's funny? I was thinking about this the other day. I don't know if I'm going to do it yet. <clears throat> Cause I have to, I'll have to design a flyer. If you guys have made it down to the end of this video, you'll get a kick out of this. 
So, <coughs> I'm trying to put together a flyer. You guys are getting exclusive information right now. I'm trying to put together a flyer of a photo where me and this celebrity look really alike. Right? I'm come from California. We all, there's a group of us that all look the same down there, but I just, they use me as an example because I'm like the only one that really looks like I'm in Rhode Island. But what I would love to do is I would love to do a mukbang, mukbang video, however you want to pronounce it, with Gabriel Iglesias. I would think that that would absolutely be hilarious and fun. And not only that, he's a really funny guy. He's a uh, extremely, <clears throat> extremely talented, not only actor, but comedian. And uh, everything that I've read about him online, just really sweet, nice guy. Uh, not the typical, <clears throat> got a piece of oatmeal. Um, not the typical, you know, uh, bad boy actor that you typically see, you know, coming in the news like TMZ and stuff. So. I'm trying to figure out a way to be able to get his attention. Um, so I don't know if that's like posted on Facebook or Instagram saying, you know, if this if this post gets 100,000, um, we can ask Gabriel and Gale Iglesias to be to do a mukbang video with Lupe from Rody Foodie. Uh, or uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what we can do. Uh, maybe on Instagram, if like 100,000 people like the photo, we can get his attention and uh, something like that. Maybe someone on his team can reach out to us. Uh, but I'm putting it out in the universe. I think it would be a funny video, a great video. Uh, we would obviously do a Rhode Island restaurant. Anytime, you know, I always like to say this too, unless it's, unless they get to decide. If I ever, if we ever rather, if we ever, Foodie Fam, including all you guys and the Foodie Fam, here also if we ever get to the point where we're able to get uh celebrities <laughs> to join us uh to do or notable folks to do uh, the eating videos um and <clears throat> they're coming to us i'm pledging right now that we will always eat at a rhode island restaurant if possible um they, you know, I, I think it would be great not only for the state of Rhode Island, but I think it would be great for the local restaurant scene. And I think it would be something fun and something that the restaurant would not only enjoy, but appreciate. And I think all the folks um, and, you know, you ask anybody, you know, we, we prefer local. Obviously, you guys know that we're going to start a new playlist where we're uh, going to be trying out some of the <clears throat> some of the new menu items that come out from national brands. But, you know, we're going to keep it separated. Um, because, you know, not everybody, uh, um, you know, we all have different, uh, palettes and, you know, let's be honest, some folks are half and half. Hey, I love, uh, local, but I love me, uh, this burger from here. I love my donuts from over here. I love my chicken sandwiches from Chick-fil-A. So I get it. I get it. Not everyone's kind of like us, uh, with our preferences all the time, but everyone's different. And Rody Foodie, I really want it to be a super inclusive thing while still supporting local restaurants at the same time and local brands too. This is amazing soil. Let me down this, I'm gonna down the hatch here. So guys, I'll leave you with that. I don't know if we're gonna do like a video ask uh, petition or if I'll we'll make a flyer for Facebook um, saying if this gets 100,000 likes, um, we can get Gabriel Iglesias' uh, attention to join us on an eating video. Uh, I don't know where he's from. I don't know if he's from California or New York. It's got to be one of the two, right? Or somewhere in middle America. We're, we are willing to travel. Um, but, you know, it'd be kind of cool if he came here to eat at a Rhode Island restaurant. But uh, other than, all right, I'll leave you guys with that. So <clears throat> I want to thank Beehive. First time. Great impression. Uh, that melts was absolutely perfect. It was the great balance of chisel, carbs, and veggies. Uh, kudos to the team. Also, Empire Soda. I'm definitely going to add that to the mix. Uh, very great. So I didn't even know this even existed. So I, you know what? I just lied to you. I, I have heard of this. I just had never tasted it because uh, it's, you know, it's... Um, um, I just never really seen it at some of the places that I've gone to. So, 
uh, I'm glad that, you know, and that's the great thing about this, the, this videos, these hundred restaurant local videos is that, you know, if I see something new, I'm like, ship it, let's do it, let's try it. Um, put it down the hatch, son. The sauce on here, sauce boss. Uh, this is day 48. We're almost at the half day mark. Uh, we have something really special lined up for day 50. It's gonna be our uh, halfway mark. But again, guys, uh, until next time, please like uh, the videos. If you could take a moment and uh, comment, uh, what's your favorite places in Bristol? Like I said, I'm going to be doing uh, Quito's and also uh, a, a Statesman's Tavern. Uh, but listen, we ain't stopping there, man. So keep the suggestions coming. Let me know what your favorite melt is too, just outside of life too. Until then, guys, make sure you uh, you be well, you eat well, and always take care of each other.